Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to install and configure Windows Admin Center on Windows Server 2022 core. Windows Admin Center is becoming more and more popular day by day and the adoption rate rising hard. Server management is something that Microsoft is investing serious time and effort and that's why this project is only getting better. We can install Windows Admin Center on Server Core so that multiple users can access Windows Admin Center using a web browser to manage Server Core. Let me show you the VMs which we are going to use in this video. I'm using the Taste Lab created in Oracle VirtualBox for the demonstration. In our taste lab, we have single domain active directory forest named msaptivebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller named ws2022-dc01. Let's go to our Windows Server 2022 core VM. This server core machine is joined to our existing Active Directory domain. During this video guide, we will go through the options of installing Windows Admin Center on the server core and use it as a gateway server. We will go through the installation and basic configuration using the GUI. We can use PowerShell 2. The process described in this video is as much minimalistic as server core. That is the why we plan to use the bare minimum tools to achieve our goal. Press Ctrl to delete key combination to unlock the server and domain administrator's password and press enter key to sign into the server core VM. Upon successfully login, the S config utility is automatically launched. We will need to obtain the Windows Admin Center setup file first. We can obtain the setup file by visiting Microsoft website and download the package to our domain controller and then transfer it to this Windows Core Addition server that will be hosting the Windows Admin Center. We can also download the package directly from our Windows Core Addition server if it is connected to the internet. For that, we will need to go to the Windows PowerShell console to download the setup file. Type 15 and press enter key to exit to PowerShell interface. Type command cd downloads and press enter key. Clear the screen. We will use wkcmdlate to download Windows Admin Center binaries from Microsoft official website. Type cmdlate wkate as a tps aka.ms slash wsc download hyphen use basic passing hyphen output file wsc.msc and press enter key to download Windows Admin Center from Microsoft official website. Downloading has been started. This will take few seconds to finish. The Windows Admin Center setup file is around 100 MB in size. Type command ls and press enter key. We have the Windows Admin Center setup file on our server core. Now we can run the MSI installer for Windows Admin Center. There is also an unattended option for WSE on server core using Windows PowerShell. Type wsc.msc and press enter key to start the installation process. We just need to follow the prompts to complete the installation. Select I accept these license terms and click on next. For sending diagnostic data to Microsoft, there are two options. Select required diagnostic data option if you want to send information about your installation of Windows Admin Center, its settings and capabilities to Microsoft. Or select required and optional diagnostic data option to send information about how you use features plus additional info about application health activity and error reporting. Select the appropriate option as per your requirement. Since this is a test environment, 
I'll choose required and optional diagnostic data option. Click next to continue. We can update the Windows Admin Center using Microsoft Update. Select Use Microsoft Update when I check for Update and click on Next. Remember, that is recommended option. Click Next to continue. Again, click Next to continue. We must select a port for the Windows Admin Center site. By default, on Windows Server Core computer, Windows Admin Center uses port number 443. However, we can enter a different port number if required. We will go with the default port number which is 443. Let me select this checkbox to redirect HTTP port 80 traffic to HTTPS. Click on install to begin the installation process. The installation should commence now. The installation process will take few seconds to complete the Windows Admin Center installation on the server core VM. Wait for the installation process to complete. Click on finish. The Windows Admin Center installation on Windows Server 2022 core is completed. Go back to our Windows Server 2022 DC. Let's sign into our domain controller. Open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type URL https colon double slash WS 2022-core01.msft webcast.com. This is the FQDN of our Windows Server 2022 core server. Press Enter key to access Windows Admin Center, which we have installed on server core. This connection is not private due to self signed certificate. Click on Advanced. Click on Continue. Authentication is required. Enter administrator's username and password and click on OK. After successful login, Windows Admin Center welcome page is displayed. We can see the message successfully installed Windows Admin Center version 2306. Let me close this. In the background, currently Windows Admin Center is updating the all extensions. This will take few seconds to complete the process. Let's wait for the update process to complete. We can see the confirmation message. It has successfully updated all extensions available with Windows Admin Center. Click on OK. This will reload Windows Admin Center. We are back in Windows Admin Center. This is the name of our server core VM. WS2022-core01.msftwebcast.com And we can see the mode is Gateway. We can now add our other servers or other computers by clicking on the plus add button. Click on server name to connect our server core VM. Now we should see the overview tab of our Windows Server 2022 core in Windows Admin Center. Still certain informations are being updated here. You have to wait for a few seconds to see the all updated information. Here we can see the computer name, free disk space, domain name, processor information, operating system and other informations. Here we can see the CPU, memory and network utilization. We can navigate using the left panel to view the various system informations and services. For example, let's click on file and file sharing. From here, we can create file or folder on server core VM. We can also download or upload files from this server to Windows Server Core VM. Now, using Windows Admin Center web interface, we can easily manage our Windows Server 2022 Core VM and other servers and clients from our Active Directory domain. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. That's all for this video on how to install and configure Windows Admin Center 
on Windows Server 2022 Core. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.